You ready to go for a walk? Hmm? Are you ready to go for a walk, girl? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go out? Okay. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hello, I'm Gabrielle, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a day in the life vlog, and yeah, I just walked my dog, Izzy, and now I'm gonna go have a piece of fruit real quick, and then, because I'm starving, and then I'm gonna work out. Izzy's set up with her food to keep her busy, although she's definitely gonna be done before I'm done working out. Okay, so today is a lower body day. I am absolutely by no means a trainer or my form is per perfect or anything. Um, and I also, yesterday was my first time working out in like a week and a half just because I've been busy not prioritizing it like I need to because that is important to my physical and mental health and just being active, which obviously I'm super active right now because, not super active, but like I'm, getting moving every day because I have a puppy and I'm walking her. I've decided today and actually track how long we walk um, because I don't even know. I just, you have to do it, so I do it. So this morning our walk was over a mile and a half. Um, we usually go on a longer one in the morning and the evening because she's got a lot of energy. Um, but yeah, so today is a lower body day. I know my form's not perfect, but we're working on it. So I'm gonna start out today's workout with some glute activation, and then I'll do my lower body session, and then I might do some abs. I do abs almost every time I work out. Um, it might just be with one circuit, um, but I, yeah, I like doing abs, so I'll do that a lot. And then obviously if I'm like sore, I'll give myself a rest. Um, and a lot of times for like a warm out, obviously I just walked over a mile and a half uh, with Izzy, so that's kind of a warm up, but a lot of times too, I'll do a hit circuit to warm up as well, or jump rope. I'll put like what I'm doing on the screen, and there's like some different fitness people on social media that I get a lot of inspiration from or I'll do their workouts sometimes so I can link some of them down below if you're interested in people I follow for that. I was really good with being consistent the like month before school started and then like the first month and a half and then I just started getting busier and not prioritizing it like I need to. I know like how important it is for myself to have the activity for like my physical and mental health and just doing something for myself and not just sitting in my room staring at a screen all day since basically my entire life is virtual because I currently have three jobs which are pretty much all virtual and then I also am a full-time student and this is my last semester of college so I have some of the harder major classes and stuff and a lot of group projects so I spend most of my time sitting at my desk in my bedroom. So just getting out and being active is kind of like just a time to focus on me, which I think is super important, and get out of my bedroom, honestly. I'm very thankful we have this gym set up in the garage. I am at my parents' house currently because everything is virtual. It didn't make sense to go back and pay Chicago rent. Um, and it was also, I only have one semester left. I'm graduating in December, so. It all, thankfully I hadn't signed a lease. It all worked out how it was supposed to. Um, but yeah, this is awesome to be able to step in the garage and just get a workout in. Um, it also makes it easier on busy days to fit it in because I don't have to like add in travel time and stuff like that. So, or I don't have to wear a mask while I'm working out. Um, yeah.
doing? I'm making some oatmeal, still cut oats, and toast. Okay, so I got my toast and all my oatmeal. I have bananas, cinnamon, peanut butter, and maple syrup for a natural sweetener. Okay, so I came up back up to my room because I'm gonna eat here and go over some emails and probably watch YouTube while I eat. And then I need to shower and get ready for the day. Izzy, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's so cute. Oh, and I'm also going to show you all my like everyday go-to makeup because why not? And it will make this video more interesting since majority of my life is sitting at this desk working on my laptop right now. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to put some makeup on. Um, I'm going to use the Young Living Art Renewal Serum as my primer. I try to use mostly cleaner products on my face, which this is. Um, not all of the ones I'm currently using are, but I'm trying to find ones to replace them. Um, I've had, so like, my first, till I was 16, my skin was great, my makeup stayed on it perfectly, and then all of a sudden it stopped applying well, like I'd put it on and it'd be like blotchy, just like dabbing it with the beauty blender, it wouldn't go on well, and it would move throughout the day, and I just like couldn't find, like nothing would stay on my face, I'd like just barely tap it, and literally all the foundation or concealer there would be gone on my finger, so it's gotten better, um, but it's not like perfect like it was before like I would go to PE and sweat and it would still look almost the same as it did before so um, now I'm gonna use this pixie color corrector on my dark circles um, so that being said the sorry my mirrors down here it's easier to look in there um, the foundation I am going to use is not a clean product. I ordered one though that will hopefully be replacing it. But the one, so the one I am going to use today, I've been using probably about a year. Um, and the bottle has lasted me that long. It's like basically empty now though. This is probably going to be my last time using it. Hang on, I need a paper towel. I'm also like kind of trying to hurry because I need to start working. But, um, where is it? Oh, so it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup, and it stays on very well. It's also probably, might be a little light right now because I've been getting more sun walking busy and stuff, but it is the closest to my actual skin color I've found. Um, a lot of foundations will make me just look completely orange or yellow because of the undertones in my skin. So this one is a really good match for me. Obviously it's a little bit light right now, but I will bronze it up. I'm used to having the mirror closer to me, but I don't want it to just be a white line there for you. So I'm also going to, this foundation is also super buildable. So I usually just put a thin coat all over my face um, and then I don't want it to be cakey or anything. So then I'll just go back over the spots that need a little bit more uh, my nose is a tiny bit sunburned right now, so it's a little red, so We'll go on my nose again And I'm also gonna use this as a base For my eyeshadow, so whatever is left on the sponge I'll put on my eyelids this is like not a good background, the black walls, since I have 
or door since I have um, dark hair. Got a little pimple right there. And I'm gonna blend it down my neck. A little, not that much. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I said, but I am using a damp beauty blender. I'm also by no means a makeup artist or anything, and I learned most of makeup from YouTube. Um, but it is something I enjoy doing. For my daily makeup, like what I'm doing now, hang on, sometimes I'll do certain things sometimes I'll do more or less depending on how I'm feeling so like sometimes I'll just do concealer sometimes um, obviously I don't wear makeup every day especially with the virtual life right now that's just not realistic and it's good to let your skin breathe you know so I'm also gonna use the double wear concealer um, the foundation was in one-in-one I -one, renewed and the And the concealer is in one in extra light neutral. So I'm just going to put some under my eyes, little highlight areas, um, and then blend that in. So now my foundation and concealer is on, and I'm going to use the Savvy Minerals by Young Living uh, Matte Powder. So this is also, all the Savvy Minerals by Young Living are clean products. It's an essential oil company that now has like skincare and a makeup line and all that type of stuff. Um, and some of their products I like. Some that I've tried are not my favorite. Um, but I do like this powder a lot. It is definitely a matte powder. Um, I'd like to find other products for more of a dewy look. But right now I'm using what I have because buying more stuff costs money. Um, and this does really hold my makeup in place and it's also like if I'm not wearing makeup and I just want to like blur my pores a little I'll put just a little bit of this on and it does just that okay so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows I really don't love the product I have right now but I can't decide what I want to get to try um, so I'm just gonna do it off camera though since I don't really like it that much okay so for my eyes, um, on the day to day, sometimes I'll just do like a shimmer on my eyelid, sometimes I'll do a little more, just depends. I think today I am going to do a little in my crease. I'm just going to use a little bit of the bronzer I'm using in my crease. Oop, there was something on that brush. I just want it super light today. Okay, that's good enough, just giving it a little depth. And then on my lid and brow bone, I'm going to be using Wonderlust. It's a eyeshadow from Young Living as well. And um, I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. The highlight 
under my eyebrows and then on my eyelid as well Sometimes I'll put eyeliner on. I don't think I'm going to today, but I do mascara last because I like to set my face before I do mascara so I don't accidentally blink and get mascara on my um, under eye. So I'm going to use um, this Ulta Boot Beauty. Um, oh, can you see that? It, so this is, it broke obviously, so this is what I use currently not all the time i have another one too but this is what i've been using for my everyday um con bronzer and blush so that's what i just used on my eyelid or my crease as well is that bronzer so i don't have a brush i absolutely love for bronzer um but this is what i've been using lately i also usually do my makeup in the bathroom not at my desk in front of the window, but that's where it was. I can't really film it in my bathroom. So, um, also I just do the like three and then I'll put it on my nose too in a minute with a smaller brush. Um, but it's like weird sitting here and also I'm like not used to doing it in a mirror like this, but also trying to look up at the same time. So hopefully you can easily see what I'm doing. I like don't usually get pimples on my cheeks, but I have like a line of them right here. I don't know why. And then I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and kind of blend it all out you can also which i might too but using your damp beauty blender and kind of going over it helps like fade it into your foundation as well i have found And then my nose, let's not forget that. So I'm just gonna use a small brush. I actually have two of the um, of these brushes. And so one I use for like my crease eyeshadow and one I use for contour because I wanna make sure I don't get other colors on it. Just gonna go down my nose and the tip under the tip. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of that blush on. And I don't put highlighter on every day, but since we're doing this, I might as well. Enough. 
Oh, I don't think I said the highlighter I used um, is from Becca and it is in pearl. It's really pretty. This has also lasted me a very long time, but I use this a lot on my eyelids too, especially if I'm not, um, if that's like the only thing I'm putting on, I just want a little shimmer. I'll just like use my finger and dab it on. This is almost dry. So it just like shut off on me. I need to ch change the setting where it like set shuts off after whatever amount of time. But now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara, which I usually get super close to the mirror when I put on mascara. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I feel like everything I've been wearing today, like my workout outfit and what I'm wearing now, it's very fall colors and I'm enjoying it. It's like, it was super warm the past few days, which was weird. It got like back up to the high 70s and now it's cooler today and starting to get back into sweater weather again, which I'm kind of happy about. I enjoyed the sunshine and the warm, but it was just like, I never knew what to wear. Okay, mascara is on. Sorry if the camera's changed, I had to switch the battery. Um, usually I would just put on like chapstick or lip gloss, but since we're filming this video, I'll put something else on. That was sad, it just broke. So I used to have a lip liner that matched my lips pretty much perfectly and it got lost, I think, at a dance in high school. This was like years ago and I just haven't bought it in a new one. Um, but this one's close enough, but I found that if you use a lip liner closest to your lip color, then it's easier to like overline if you want to and like not be able to tell. And I feel like if it's your lip color, it's like you can use it with any lipstick and stuff. so neutral. There we go. Okay, so this is pretty much like a go-to makeup look for me. Um, let me take these out. I may move onto a white wall so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so this is my makeup. Mm. Well, I don't think I told you what um, mascaras I used. So I always have to use a waterproof one on my lower lashes because my allergies make my eyes water sometimes. Um, so I, there's two I like, but I had, I ran out of the other and this is what I had. So it's the telescopic from L'Oreal, right? Yeah. And then for my upper lids, this one has like better ingredients and can actually help your eyelashes grow. Um, this is the Josie Marin um, Argan Black Oil Mascara. I think I said that right. I'll link all the makeup I use down below. Uh, sorry, that's a little dirty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my basically go to makeup look um okay now i'm going to i'm already hungry and so i might 
I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to pick this up real quick because there's a mess in front of me. I'm doing it at my desk. And then do some emails and figure out what all I need to do before my classes tonight because I have three classes starting at 3.50. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and make a smoothie for lunch because I can drink that while I continue working. Currently, I have three part-time jobs and I'm a full-time student. So there's just a lot going on, so I just try to keep it as organized as possible. Um, so like today, I have a class at 3.50, my business ethics class, my least favorite class, because it's a philosophy class, not a business class like it is with a different professor. Um, and then I have my marketing research class, which is with my favorite professor. And then I have a strategic management business class, which that one you can like, that's my only class that you don't have to be on Zoom for. You can watch the recordings, but we had an exam last week, so I'm probably going to go because I want to see what she has to say. Um, yeah, so I have, I sorry, I have like, so the first two classes are only 15 minutes. And I have 30 minutes in between each of them, which is really just like, try and grab some dinner or walk Izzy super quick or whatever. Um, and then the other class is, it's supposed to be from 6.30 to 9, but she lets us out early. I think it's only like usually an hour and a half. So, yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays are very busy because I have classes from 3.50 until 9 at night um, or 8.30 depending on if we get let out early and stuff but then Friday I only have the two 50 minute classes but still I'm not done with classes until 6 o'clock on Friday which is weird but it's because um, they switch originally we were supposed to do a hybrid and so they switched the time so there would be longer passing periods so not as many people would come in contact and then when we went 100% virtual, they kept the times, and now I'm in a different time zone because I'm at my parents' house. So now everything's an hour later. So like, my class that starts at 5.10 today was originally supposed to start at 2.45. Um, so yeah, it's just like weird timing. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I only have one class from 10.45 to 12. So that's nice because I can get a lot of work done those afternoons. But yeah, so right now I need to check my email for my marketing assistant job and then I need to, I also have like five emails right now. I just realized I spent like five minutes talking about emails and people probably don't actually care. So I'll probably cut some of that out. <laughs> I'm going to put some spinach in my smoothie to get some greens. And then different like superfood type of stuff. So flax seeds, chia seeds, maca powder matcha powder, pecola, and oh, hemp seeds, spirulini. Then I have some raw coconut water and I'll put a little orange juice in as well. Just a splash of the orange juice. Someone didn't close that all the way. And I'm gonna put the rest of the strawberry peach pineapple mango frozen fruit in there. So there's not much left. And then I'll do some of the strawberry banana as well. And I think I want a few more pineapples. And blend. 
and the smoothie is done and overflowing but it tastes really good i don't know if i said already or not but i do eat plant-based so i don't eat any meat or dairy just fyi so like the oatmeal i had today i warmed it up with almond milk and stuff like that okay so izzy the puppy has a lot of energy right now so I'm gonna put some socks on and I think I'm gonna take her to the dog park because she needs to go out and she needs to get the energy out so she's not chewing on things she shouldn't be it's weird there's only one person on there so let me make sure we have class today Okay, there's a recording we're supposed to watch, and it's supposed to be office hours today. So, I'm going to do these emails, apparently, and now I have class at 5, it's class starting at 5.10 now instead of 3.50. Smoothie, it's making me cold. Cozy time. random question do you like to be cozy when you're doing work slash studying obviously like not in an office setting but like in your own room or space or does that make you unproductive and just want to go to sleep because personally i love it and sometimes being cozy makes me more productive that was so random but way more fun to talk about than the school work and work i'm doing right now so also, I cannot believe it's week 12 out of like 15. Like, let's see how many more. So it is currently, as I am filming this, it is November 11th. That is a Wednesday. And I, my exams are done by December 12th, which is a Saturday because our Wednesday is like the study day or whatever but I'm pretty sure my like stuff I have to be on zoom or taking an exam at a certain time are all on Monday and I have a project due Friday but if I can get my team to be done with it I will be done on Monday and I'm graduating this semester so I'm literally done in less than four weeks <laughs> and that is just insane to me like three and a half years getting the degree is almost here that is crazy it's just like doesn't seem real at all I'm like excited but it's also just like gonna be weird like I was thinking about it. I think it might even it's either this week or next week is like when you enroll for classes for next semester and so I've been getting the emails for that because everyone does and I'm just like, whoa, I'm not going to be enrolling, which is just crazy. And this is weird too, but I love enrolling in classes because it involves organizing the schedule and I love organizing. Um, so it's just like weird. Like I don't even know exactly where I'm going to be or what I'm going to be doing yet. So it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird. I'm excited though. I'm excited for Christmas this year. Because I feel like we all could use the Christmas spirit and a little of the joy of the holiday season with everything that's been going on this year. And of course, like the pandemic is still happening. Um, but just like seeing Christmas lights up makes me so happy and decorating. And usually I'm the person who's like, no, you cannot put Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving that is like a crime but this year it's been a weird year and I just really am ready for the holiday season so <laughs> I don't care um yeah time flies even just like me and my friends uh, who I studied abroad with last fall will get like the one year ago we were like here I think last week in it was a photo or video from Ireland and I was just like 
this is literally insane. Like a year ago, I was studying abroad in, excuse me, in London and traveling all over Europe on the weekends. And like, I miss that so much. And someday traveling the world again will happen. Not soon, <laughs> um, but yeah. I can't believe that was a year ago. And I like, since I'm currently at my parents, it's also weird because I don't know many people here. This is the longest I've ever been here um, because they moved here what like the summer after I graduated high school, they moved here because my dad got a different job. And I was like, I'm used to moving. I was a military brat growing up. So moving and like meeting new people was like the norm for me. But when we moved here, it was like there's, I'm not going here and getting involved in stuff for the next school year and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm here for like a month and a half and then I'm going to Chicago to go to college. So I like didn't really meet many people and I just traveled back to St. Louis where I went to high school to see my boyfriend and friends and stuff like every week, every few weeks because um, it's only like a four and a half hour drive, four hour drive. So then coming here in quarantine, at the very beginning of quarantine, when like you can't meet people and all you do is stay inside, like of course then everyone was just like video chatting their friends and stuff. But it's just like weird, I don't know, just still being here because like that was not at all the plan. Um, but plans change and that's okay and I feel like I don't know I just have like a sense of peace about the unknown right now which is weird because I was like super stressed I was like I don't have a job this was like a month ago so like in October I'm graduating in December I've been applying for jobs since um probably the beginning of September and I don't know what I'm doing of course like the job market's not the same right now um, and I was like, oh shoot, it's already October, <laughs> like, I feel like I should have a sense or some, like, things, like, and further in interview processes and, like, all that type of stuff, and I'm like, I'm not, and I was like, shoot, I should be stressing out, and I, like, started to, and then I, all of a sudden, I just had, like, a sense of peace, and it's like, wherever I'm meant to be, it'll happen, it's all gonna work out, God has a plan, which is weird, because I had, like, that same exact feeling when I was trying to figure out where I was going to go to college because growing up, moving all over, being with my dad in the military, I, you like move every few years, you just make the best of wherever you go. So I was like, I could do that at any of these schools. How am I supposed to choose one? Um, and I ended up in Chicago at Loyola, which I have enjoyed. I love being in Chicago. I, I'm such a city person. Um, so my goal is to go back to a bigger city eventually. I have two top preferences, choices. One's definitely at the top of the list. So we'll see what happens. Right now, I, like I said, I have three part-time jobs, so those aren't gonna end anytime soon and I'll have stuff to keep me busy and save some money and I'm just gonna keep applying to jobs and we'll see what happens. Whatever is meant to be will be, but it's just like weird times. Yeah. Okay, well, that was a big chat. Um, now I gotta get back to responding to stuff. I need to respond to this text so I don't forget. Um, yeah. You go outside? Let's go! Okay, I have my next class in 10 minutes, but I can eat during that class because I don't have to have my camera on. And my mom just made me some pasta, so I'm going to eat that. Thank you, mom. And yeah, I got to eat what I can in case we have questions to answer. Okay, so it is currently 7.36 and I just logged out of my class. Um, so 
the rest of the night is pretty much gonna consist of me staring at my computer screen doing some work I need to have done before tomorrow because I have uh, one class and two meetings for work stuff different work jobs so um, yeah I need to prepare for those um, and I'm sure I'll walk Izzy again and probably eat more food because I'm already hungry again. Um, so I figured I'd just end the vlog here though because it's gonna be kind of boring the rest of my night. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Ow, if you did enjoy it. Oh, my hair is stuck in my earring. And comment down below something you're excited about, whether it's Thanksgiving or a tradition you do during the holidays or, uh, winter break, I don't know. Just comment something down below you're excited about. And make sure to subscribe if you wanna see my future videos. As I am now posting regularly, which I'm very happy about. Um, I don't know, I just like, makes me very happy to be posting and it's also like a way to be creative. Obviously, like I don't have time right now to super get into editing and learning more creative ways about that but over like Christmas season like once I'm done with the semester I'm really gonna try and work on that because it's just fun posting on social medias and being creative in that way okay I'm gonna stop blabbing on um thank you so much for watching bye